Meet Mark and Jessica Jones. They're a happy family of two. Um, I mean, soon three. We better hurry up to the hospital before the labor starts. Congratulations, it's a baby boy. I know this is a magical moment for you, but what do you say we talk about newborn screening for a minute or two? Have you heard of it? The idea behind newborn screening is to detect rare diseases and prevent them from doing irreversible damage to a baby's development before the symptoms appear. The process starts with a tiny drop of blood. <gasps> I know what you're going to say. Blood? From my newborn? Relax. Why don't we take a look at how quick and simple the whole thing is? Like I said, the process is very simple. All we need is a small drop of blood from the baby's heel when he or she is a few days old. And that's it! The sample, after drying, is sent to a laboratory where testing is performed and results analyzed. The blood sample can be tested for more than 30 disorders. The exact number depends on where you live. While the instrument works its magic, let's take a quick look at some numbers. At the moment, one-third of the world's babies are screened. That's 140,000 babies every single day. Out of those 140,000, 100 newborns are suspected to have a rare disorder. There's no need to contact the vast majority whose babies are completely healthy, but if the screening shows signs of a rare disease, the parents are notified immediately. Unfortunately, the test results for the Jones's baby indicate that he might have a rare metabolic disorder that can irreversibly damage the child's development. However, without the newborn screening program, the parents wouldn't know this in the first place. So this is actually a good thing. It's extremely important to detect the potential disease during the first days so that the doctors can decide on the best course of action. In the Jones's case, it's a simple adjustment to the baby's diet that changes the whole course of life. Without proper treatment in the first days of life, the baby would have likely become severely disabled. Newborn screening gives the baby a second chance for a normal life. He or she will play outside, go to school, have an education, work, have children of his own, and grow old. Newborn screening is usually a public health care procedure, and from the government's perspective, it's a small investment that can save a large amount of money through inexpensive treatments. Newborn screening is a small procedure that can have a major impact on your and your baby's life. 